Folks, this is Joan Briano coming to you once again. I'm the Fullerton Informer, and every time I come and talk to you about this kind of stuff, it's not for a good reason, folks. And it's not because I like to talk about this, but because I have to talk about this. And quite frankly, we don't have a lot of time, and we're being surrounded by weaponry. I'm in a room right now that if it wasn't for electricity, it would be completely dark. Now, we've become accustomed to lighting, folks. We've become accustomed to flipping a switch and having the darkness disappear. And the problem with that is our bodies were not designed by God to be in that environment. This is a light, really inexpensive light, that I got at Dollar Tree. And I want you to look at this. This is an LED light, and it's not the shape of this that's a concern, and it's not the brightness that's a concern, but the color of the light. It's a little weird, isn't it? You know, growing up, light bulbs were always orange. That's just the way lights, are, lights were. Headlights were always orange on the cars. That's, that's just the way they were. I mean, I just thought light bulbs gave off orange light because that, that's the only light bulb I ever knew. And then came along these fluorescent lights that they put in the schools. I remember when they put these in. The first time I saw fluorescent lighting was when I went to college. Because when I went to high school, I went to Catholic schools. We had light bulbs hanging in, basically, lighting fixtures from the ceiling. We had clear windows. We didn't have different types of lighting. We do now. Did you know that lighting is a weapon? I've talked about wireless. I've talked about how they close the walls in with us basically broadcasting through our walls with the cellular systems and how people have now brought these wireless microwave systems into their homes with their Wi-Fi and YLAN systems in and repeaters and Wi-Fi boosters and all of these things that are destroying their health. But I wanted to talk to you tonight about blue light. Blue light is a weapon, folks. I'm going to repeat this. Blue light is a weapon. Now, guess what gives off blue light? Well, the biggest source of blue light in your home is your television. I like to refer to it as the idiot box or hell of vision. But it's destroying your health. When blue light enters your eyes at night, it totally disrupts all of the natural processes that are supposed to be taking place at night. In the absence of blue and white light, your body begins secreting melatonin. Melatonin is a sleep hormone. When the blue and white light goes away at sunset, your body says, okay, it's time to go to bed. Well, what do we do when that time of the day comes? We turn on a light. Now, we don't turn on this kind of light. We turn on another LED type of light you can look at this, it has flickered. Are you noticing that it flickers? Because it does. Flicker is another component of this weaponry, folks. Incandescent lights don't flicker. LEDs, they pulse. Your television is killing you. That blue light that you're getting in through your eyes at night is killing you. It's taking years off your life. When your body is supposed to be asleep and it is being told by light signals which basically transmit information to your body about the time of the day it is and what to do and what bodily functions are supposed to kick in and what bodily functions are supposed to shut off. When you go to bed and you go to sleep, do you have to think to breathe? Do you have to think to pump your blood? These are all autonomic functions. These are part of your parasympathetic system of your body. These functions take place without you being aware of them taking place. During the day, every single thing you do, moving your hands, moving your head, moving your eyelids, whatever it is, talking, is a conscious choice that your brain makes as a result of you intending your body to make these choices and these movements and these actions. At night, it's a completely different system. Now. When you introduce blue light into your environment at night, you are disrupting 
all of these autonomic processes and all of the healing process, when you go to, when you go to bed at night, your brain starts reshuffling all that information that you process during the day. That's why you have these dreams and you're pulling up stuff from the file cabinet from 25 years ago and it's mixed in with something that happened the other day. That's just a process that goes on in your mind, folks. That is why we have the dreams that we have. It's just a reshuffling and restorage of information. It's kind of like defragging a computer, putting stuff in a different folder where it needs to be to save space on the hard drive. You cannot alter these processes. You want to know why all these men have prostate cancer? Do you want to know why all these men are taking Viagra in their 40s? It's because of the laptop emitting microwave emissions right on their lap, right where their prostate is, and the blue light at night from the television set. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard me. Endocrine cancers such as prostate cancers, hormonal cancers such as ovarian cancer and breast cancer, these are all a direct result of blue light exposure at night. And we've been being dosed for decades with the television. But now there's another component that is equally problematic, and that is your cell phone. Did it occur to you that they chose the blue light for your phone at night intentionally? Do you know how much blue light is in the cell phone emissions? It's by design. Ladies and gentlemen, these people that run the world, that run these corporations, it's not just about the money. The money is a side effect. It is a windfall of carrying out the agenda. The agenda is to sicken us and to kill us off and to make us subservient so that they can carry out their nefarious plans for total domination and elimination of 99% of us. You heard me. The technology that is being deployed whether it be your phone, your computer, your gigantic television that you're so proud of that you just stuck in the back of your SUV and drove it home from Costco, the thing you just spent $4,000 on and that you just bought all this furniture to sit in front of it and wash it with, is killing you. Blue light at night through your eyes sets you up for cancer. Prostate testicular, breast, any type of hormonal cancers, pancreatic. I, I'm just telling you folks, you don't understand, and maybe now you do, but you have got to shut off your television at night. And if you're going to use your computer at night, you need to use a filter on it. You can download a filter to change the color temperature of your screen. You need to have lighting and emissions, photo emissions under 3,000 degrees Kelvin. In other words, look it up. There's things you can put on your computer that will bring the color temperature of your monitor down to around 2700, which is a warm orange glow, which is what the old incandescent lights used to be. Do not buy lighting that has a color temperature in excess of 2700 degrees Kelvin. Now, here's another component of this whole thing. They've banned the production and importation of incandescent light bulbs in the United States of America, and that is by design, folks. They don't want you having access to the right light bulbs. They want you to buy these LED lights. Do you know that you can get these things at the 99 cent store now? They are flooding the market with the weaponry. You know, when I was a child, I have to admit this, I loved soda pop. It tasted so good, and back when I was a child, it was expensive. I remember, though, back in the 70s, that it was about $1.29 for a 2-liter bottle of Pepsi or Coca-Cola, whichever one you preferred. Do you know now, 40 years later, that it still costs a dollar for a 2-liter bottle of Pepsi or Coca-Cola? How is that possible that something that cost a dollar 40 years ago still costs a dollar a day when the production costs, the energy costs, the insurance costs, the workers' comp costs, the everything costs has gone up 500% to 1,000%? It's because they want you to have access to it and they're subsidizing its existence and they're subsidizing the delivery of it to your home and to your bloodstream. 
That is exactly what is happening with these lighting systems. Now, I want to go to another component of this. Have you noticed the headlights on the cars? How much they hurt your eyes now? How bright they are? And what about these street lights they're putting in? Have you noticed the color that the street lights is now? They've changed. They used to be kind of orange. They used to be these high pressure sodium lamps. Kind of like a weird orange glow. A little dull, but didn't keep you awake, didn't hurt your eyes, didn't give you a headache. You look at the lights on the streets now. You look what they've done. They've got a bluish white color temperature to them. It's an eerie moonlight glow. Every night you're being exposed to the equivalent of a full moon. Folks, you're not supposed to be in full moonlight every night. There's a reason God gave us a full moon once a month. It was for us to get caught up on the work in the field and have a little extra time outside with the animals. But now, we've got a full moon every night of the year in our living room and on the streets, at the gas station, at the restaurants. They've changed the lights everywhere to kill you. The lighting systems are a weapon, folks. This is not an accident. This is a proven scientific fact that blue light at night causes hormonal and endocrine cancers. So why is it that every device known to man that is used at night, that is being proliferated and marketed in the United States of America and all over the world for that matter, emits blue light? Why couldn't they use a different color? I haven't watched television for over 20 years, and there's a good reason for that, folks. Because I'm not going to let them destroy my mind with the garbage and the filth they're putting out, and the lies and the crap, and the twisted baloney that they fill everybody's heads with. But I will tell you this, when I go for a walk at night, I can see in every house it looks like an alien abduction taking place with that blue glow flickering in the living rooms or in the bedrooms as I walk by these homes where no one's outside walking around on a beautiful night where I can hear the crickets and I can see the city lights shimmering and there's a nice, nice breeze, kind of like a Seals and Crofts song from the 70s. You know, just a really wonderful experience being outside in the fresh air and smelling the jasmine in the springtime. You know, folks, something that you ought to do. They're killing you. They're killing you on purpose. And they're getting you to do it all by yourself. And they're actually getting you to be in anticipation of the, the newest and latest and greatest product that they're going to roll out next. More high definition television, more high, high re resolution, more flicker rate potential. You know, it's just a shame. Because they're not going to tell you about this at school. They're not going to tell you about this on television. They're not going to tell you about this on church, at church. They're not going to tell you about this on the internet. So i got to tell you about this. And I want you to listen to me. You need to understand something. They don't like you. And when I say they, there are satanic, pedophile, murderers, eugenicists that run our government that run these corporations. I have friends in many places, high places, low places. I've got a lot of connections, folks, thousands and thousands of connections. I know who's getting on the tarmac at these airports and these private jets, and I know who gets on these jets with these people that have the money for this kind of stuff. And I know what kind of stuff goes on, and it ain't pretty. And I'm not making this up. You see, when you get tons of money and you become filthy rich, you become insane. And your lust goes beyond the need for money and material things. It then becomes a desire for power. And then when you get power and money, your lust and desire for things exceeds material possessions and money and power. It gets into the dark spiritual realm folks. And these people in very high places with tremendous wealth are plugged in to dark spiritual forces of wickedness in high places. Yes, you heard me, folks. Satanic power. 
And that's why they have all these esoteric symbols on their products and at their corporate headquarters, landscape architecture design. Um, I'm so glad that you've all got nothing better to do tonight because, to be honest with you, you're really smart people for being here. Because most people could care less about what really matters. And, you know, I know Noah took 100 years to build that ark, and they thought it was a nut job, and I want to tell you something, his kids inherited the earth. Apple is a cult. It's the cult of Mac. Apple's spending $5 billion on its corporate headquarters. People love Apple stock. It performs well. Tobacco stock performed really well, too, for a long time. That's just corporate headquarters, ladies and gentlemen. I want to show you something. I go to city council meetings. I read plans, planning commissions, all kinds of stuff. That right there is a slide off of their landscape architecture plans. This is actually taken from a video that they were pitching to Cupertino City Council. I want you to look at this. That's off of their landscape architecture plans. This is the layout of how they're going to lay the place out in terms of where they're going to put the picnic benches and the trees. Do you notice any similarity to the sperm here and this guy over here? Let me take it a step further because this was you in the two-cell stage. And this is Apple's corporate headquarters. Can you see what's happening to the nucleus, ladies and gentlemen? It's getting electrocuted. That's just one slide. Now, I'm not a gambler, but the odds of that are like putting your life savings on box cars at the craps table. That was just long odds. What's going on here? All right, so here's a little black and white version just to make it a little clearer for you. What are the odds of the landscape architecture plan from a satanic company that has put an iPad in the laps of every school-aged child in the United States doing this kind of stuff in light of this kind of stuff from 40 years ago. What are the odds? Father, in Jesus' name, may you open the eyes of these people that are here and just have them understand that this is all real and this is not a joke. Please, Father, and grant us protection as we spread this information. To whom much is given, much is required. In Jesus' name, amen. This, this is a sketch from Apple's corporate headquarters written up by an architect, once again off the Cupertino City Council website. This is the center of the complex. It's like a spaceship looking thing. But I want to take your attention to this diagram right here. Can everybody see that? So that is this missing that. I spent five years at UCI looking at this stuff, looking at stuff under electron microscopes, doing all kinds of bizarre things that at the time when I was in my 20s, I wasn't even aware of what I was doing. I was just doing it and figuring out how to do it right so I could get the grades I needed to graduate. But ladies and gentlemen, what you see here is Apple's corporate headquarters. And it's a mirror image of a cross-section of the nucleus of a human egg. Except there's one thing missing. It's this part right here. That's the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. That's the subcellular component of the human egg that runs the zona reaction. In other words, when you have a sperm hit that egg in a billionth of a second, there's a flash of light and that egg hardens. Only one sperm gets in that egg. And it's run by that piece of equipment right there. And it just so happens on this document, it's amazing you brought this today, that's Providence. On page 7 of this document, it talks about how non-thermal power levels of microwave radiation logical changes to the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Page 7. Second paragraph. So ladies and gentlemen, what you're seeing right here is something that the devil himself has designed. That is a satanic company with technology deployed in the laps of every school-aged child in the United States.
And they're basically putting it out there in their landscape architecture plans what they're doing. That's evil. Do these people know what they're doing? I don't know. If they do, that's really scary. But what matters is that they're doing it. There's that subcellular component again I wanted to show you. There's a couple more uh, things that really bother me here. This is another slide of a human egg out of a biology textbook. And that's Apple's corporate headquarters landscape architecture plan. All right, so if I was in Vegas right now and I had put my life savings on boxcars, I'd probably be walking out with a billion dollars because I just hit it three times. Those odds are crazy. What in the world are these people thinking? What is that? Why do they have pictures of cross sections of the human egg in their landscape architecture plans when I've got this report from the military from 40 years ago that says that these microwaves mess up that part of the cell? Is it an accident? No. Because we import students with 180 IQs and give them financial aid and scholarships and free bed and breakfast for five years and give them PhDs and put them to work in these think tanks to make this crap. Anybody in this room familiar with mythology? Artemis was a goddess of fertility. This company was started by a gentleman named Steve Perlman and he was an offshoot of Apple technology. He was the chief scientist for Apple. So what does he do? He goes out and hangs his own shingle and starts his own company called Artemis. Now, if I was going to make some sort of wireless company, maybe I would call it like, you know, spot on wireless or broadcast band or something. No, they call it the goddess of fertility, Artemis. That's what their devices look like. It's an amazing, it's an amazing device. These are going to be everywhere. Microcells are coming. And because of assembly, bill, assembly bills and Senate bills in the state legislature, the local municipalities will not have any say-so in where they're going to go. And that's all based on erroneous, illegal interpretation from a San Diego appeals court of the Telecom Act. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't fight the deployment of these. Your city attorneys are lazy cowards if they won't fight it. That's a whole other discussion. But they're going to put these things in front of your house on your telephone poles, on your light poles, and on all the public right-of-ways, and there's going to be anything you can do about it if you let your city open up these things for the highest bidder. They're coming. And by the way, the logo they're going to have on them is this inverted uterus. This is all right in front of your face, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sitting up here with some eternal truth that was written thousands of years ago. Nothing's changed in here. And I'm standing here looking at the products of people that disobey that. And now we're looking at the people that rejoice in its disobedience. Do you see a problem here, folks? Now, if I was putting my life savings on boxcars at the craps table, I'd have enough money to buy the Bellagio and the Wynn and the Mirage and all the way up to the Golden Nugget by now. What are the odds of this? What are the odds? This is not a coincidence, ladies and gentlemen. Artemis is also the goddess of the hunt. Let me explain to you what beamforming technology does. What it does is it locks onto your device and it forms a little piece cell around it and it hones in on you almost like you're stuck in a laser scope with a sniper aiming at you the whole time. Where do we keep these devices? In our pockets, in our breasts. Where do the kids keep these devices? In their laps. So now we have beam forming systems aimed at the eggs. We're figuring out ways to mess with the subcellular components of cells 40 years ago with microwaves. You need to listen to me. You need to share this information because I'm telling you something you're not going to hear anywhere else. I study these things because I know what they're up to. And I love people. 
I hate their evil, wicked ways, and I hate their sin, but I love people because we're all created in the image of God. We're all brothers and sisters. And we all have a common purpose, folks. And that is to love each other and to help each other out and to inhabit eternity through the sacrifice that Jesus Christ made on that cross as he shed his blood for all of us. We're all brothers and sisters in the Lord and we're supposed to know this, but it's been hidden from us. And instead we're being fed lies or being taught to hate each other and we're being divided and balkanized by that box that's killing you. Because everything on the television is divisive propaganda designed to get you to take pills and eat the wrong types of foods and spend all your money on a bunch of crap you don't need while they sit there and kill you with it. While they sit there and kill you with these phones. While they sit there and kill your kids with these video game systems. And trust me, I know how addictive they are. I have children and it's a struggle. It's a battle. You have to listen to me, folks. You've got to look at the color temperature of your lighting. It must be 2700 degrees Kelvin or lower. Go to the Goodwill and buy some old lamps and get rid of this LED crap you got in your house. Get rid of all your compact fluorescent lighting in your home. Get rid of it. Go back to halogens and incandescent lamps. 2700 degrees Kelvin, that nice orange light. Do not watch television at night. Shut it off. Actually, the best thing you can do for television is to never use it. If you have to use it, control what's on there. But don't watch anything that gives off blue light at night. It's going to kill you and make you sick. And if you want your wife not to have breast cancer, and if you don't want to have to be popping that pill to make love to your wife or your partner, then you better stop putting a laptop on top of your wee-wee and don't sit there and stare at blue light at night because you're going to end up at City of Hope with a seed implant in your prostate. And I'm warning you, that's what's going to happen. You may not like my delivery, but it's too darn bad. That's a fact. As far as your children, you want them to have testicular cancer, tell them to get that Xbox wireless gaming control out of their lap. There's a reason why testicular cancer is taking off like a SpaceX rocket right now in young boys. That's a fact. These wireless systems are destroying our children. These wireless gaming systems are destroying our children's health. These wireless gaming systems irradiate and emit microwaves even when they're shut off. You've got to unplug these things. I'm telling you folks, all this stuff is weaponry. It's been put in everywhere and it is up to you to recognize it. It's up to me to tell you how to recognize it and it's up to you to recognize it and it's up to you to get it out of your house and save your family. I've been to too many funerals where people died at a way too young age and it wasn't from a car accident. People that I know are dying of cancer in their 30s. That should not be happening. These bodies are supposed to go to 100 if you take care of them. Now granted, that's hard considering we can't do a lot of things that we used to do 100 years ago, but the fact is we shouldn't be dropping dead to some bizarre thing hooked up to some chemo drip when we're 29 or 30 years old leaving behind an infant. And it's happening. And you want to know something? It's all preventable. You know why I'm mad? Because they've made these devices so addictive and they make the programming so addictive that you have to come back for more. And they have the episode 1, 2, and 3, and the sequel, and all this crap. And they got these Kindle readers for the kids. They got everybody staring at screens that's killing them. And the screens can kill you. Forget the microwave emissions. Forget the wireless microwave emissions. I've already talked about that. That's, a, that's another part of this weaponry deployment. I'm talking about the lighting right now, folks. The lighting can kill you. And if they can kill you with light, how easy is it for them not to? You see, every single thing, these evil, wicked, satanic, pedophile, monstrous, murdering, power-hungry devil worshippers do has an Achilles heel. And it is simple as shutting it off, shutting off the power, unplugging the Wi-Fi, saying no to the vaccines, filtering your water, avoiding GMO foods, do not spray Roundup all over your yard. Don't use these chemical pesticides. Don't take these medications. I could go on. You have to take the control of your situation. They don't have total control over you unless you let them. All you have to do is pull a plug out of a wall and you're not going to microwave your family with your Wi-Fi systems. All you have to do is shut the push a button and shut the TV off and you're not going to get the blue light at night. All you have to do for your computer monitor is push a button and download a filter for your screen that will change the color temperature. 
All you have to do is unscrew that light bulb and screw another one in. You have these hands God gave them to you. Use them. He gave you a brain. Use the brain. He gave you ears. Listen to what I'm saying. And he gave you a mouth to tell others. This is Joe and Briano, folks, coming to you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Most High God. The Heavenly Father has ordained this information to go forward. And put your faith in Jesus Christ, the sinless Son of God, born of a virgin, who was crucified, died, shed his blood, his sinless blood, and was buried according to the scriptures and rose again on the third day to save you from the wickedness that they're trying to jam down your throat with all these mind control devices. Repent from your wicked ways. Repent from your evil deeds. And God will give you wisdom to live a victorious life to inhabit eternity with the billions that have gone before us, folks. And those are the facts. In Jesus' name, amen.